A police in the Ashanti region are hunting for eight tanker drivers after fuel they transported from Tema to the bulk oil storage and transportation depot in Kumasi was found to have been adulterated. One person has already been arrested in connection with the incident and nine tankers impounded. Malik AJ is head of corporate communications and external affairs at Boston and says that contaminated product has not found its way onto the market and he joins us live with more. Now, how did this happen that uh, the fuel got adulterated? Hello, Malik, you'd have to unmute for us, please. Thank you. Yeah, good morning to your listeners. Uh, I must say I'm unable to see how it happened, but what I do know is it is the robust uh, standard operating procedures of course, which helped us to uncover this whole thing. The process is simple. Before we put products on a track at our depot, we ensure that we check the chemical properties of that product before it is loaded onto the track. When it gets to the destination depot, safe is checked to ensure that this, what we put on the track is what is being delivered into our tanks at the destination depot. Does this routine check, which actually flagged a number of trucks to be holding products other than what was loaded onto them at our car place depot. When the first track was uh, detected to be containing that and the driver was taken, by the time we got to the remaining eight to make the count nine, the eight drivers could not be found. But thank God, because of the way bill which was prepared for them before they could leave the depot with the products and the fact that the transporters whose trucks they are using are registered with us and are known, we believe that no matter how long it takes, the security agencies will get in touch with them appropriately to help with the investigations so we get to the bottom of the matter. But as to how, I'm unable to tell how we got out of it. So, Mr. J, you say that this you found us out through routine checks, which means that you're not checking all the, the tracks. You check a few of the tracks and you found this. Could it be, then be that indeed there are other tracks that have gotten away and gotten adulterated products onto the market? By routine, I mean what we do on a continual basis. It's a standard operating procedure. You, do you we check do all the it, tracks? Yes. Every track that is loading product, the product is checked. And its chemi the chemical properties of the product is checked at the loading depot. And same is uh, done at the destination depot before discharge is permitted. So this is a, an operating procedure which is carried on every truck that sends products to our depot. Do we, is the checking done at the point where they're discharging it into, um, at, the, at the fuel stations where they're sending the product? Not fuel station. Boss has a primary depot at home in Tema. That is where we receive all product shipments that come from outside and those from top. All right. And when we receive over there, we do distribution across the country to our depots in Maniwata, Akosombo, Bupe, Kumasi, and Bogatanga. Whatever place that product is being dispatched from the primary depot, which is APD, we ensure we check the chemical properties of the product there before sale is loaded onto the truck. And when it arrives at our depot, before discharge is commenced, we cause the technicians to check the chemical properties of the products compare same to what is captured per the way bill and when they are the same then we know it is what we put on which has arrived that is the time where discharge into our tanks commences let me clear here that when products are going to filling stations they are moving beyond the remit of course they right. enter the realm of the national petroleum authority and the ghana standards authority so they are in charge of quality checks at the various filling stations. But what we are ensuring is that adulterated products don't get into our tanks, much less for them to be released to be taken to filling stations for them to cause damage to vehicles in the country. That has not happened as far as our new regime is concerned. All right, and what's the very latest with regards to the investigations uh, about the eight that you're, you're still, you say you're still looking for the eight drivers? The basic tests conducted by our technicians at the depot has been confirmed. And it is now in no doubt that something had been added to the product. As to what exactly was added to the product, I believe some further investigations would need to be conducted. And as soon as we get that information, we share 
with the people of Ghana through the media. As we speak, the police are there, the tracks have been impounded, and investigations are ongoing with the first driver who was paid playing a major role in ensuring safety. The transporters who are registered to do business with us have also been appropriately informed as to what has happened with respect to the content of their tracks as they arrived at our depot. And they know what this implies in terms of the contracts that we have with them. They remain innocent until proven guilty, as you know, but we trust the process to give us the best. And at the end, we will do what is in the best interest of the nation and its people. All right, thank you very much, Malik J. Malik J is head of corporate communications at Bob.